What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the show. We've got a very, very normal episode for you today. We're going to talk about some good stuff, but uh, as we do every episode, even with this new season, which I'll get into in, in just a minute, Mitchell is going to start you off with a quote of the week. Go ahead and take it away. New year, new me, father time. Hit it. All right, everybody, this is the episode you definitely have not been waiting for uh, for a little too long. We suck, so I'll go ahead and and apologize, pseudo-apologize. We kind of took January off, re-geared ourselves for the year, uh, but we have some cool announcements coming down the road, so I'm not not that nervous or upset about it. By we, he means he's speaking French as we, we, not me. Uh, He's shithead, not me. Oh, what? You, you call me daft? What's going on? Call me daft? What's, yeah. What's daft? Like daft punk? Work it. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> no. You call me a liar? What? Well, calling you a truther. I ain't calling you a truther. No, no. But welcome back to the show. We're glad you're here. Um, obviously, this is season two. Um, so we're kicking this season off with, uh, as, we, as we do every year. I say every year. We did it last year, didn't we? With New Year's resolutions. We probably did. I hope so. Honestly, we should we should have looked back and see if we did our New Year's resolution. Oh, I can tell you right now, I did not do my New Year's yeah, resolutions. I don't think so either. I don't even know what mine were, to be honest with you. Well, because New Year's resolutions for me last year, I got married last year, and I wasn't engaged until... Oh, no, that's right. I was engaged. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. That was the year previous. Mm. So I think my New Year's resolution for that time was to lose weight for the wedding. Okay. So that was my New Year's goal. You did great. And I did great. You did great. I lost 20 pounds, and I freaking killed it. Speaking of which, are you still on your little, your diet? Your, no. No sugar, no calories, no milk, no air, no <laughs> water? I'm not. I'm not on, okay. no, not anymore. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not doing Do you want to explain what that was? Well, okay. So it was like no dairy, no sugar, no gluten. Um, so it was basically like... Photosyn- you know, photosynthesis outside, you just get... Yeah, your- I just go outside. It's like a, a Kung Fu Panda. I survive off the dew of the universe, <laughs> right. you know, like that. I'm not, yeah. I'm not going over in excess uh, and working out a lot too, but no, I'm not on that anymore. Thank goodness. Cause now I can just eat normal people food mm-hmm. for once. Mm-hmm. I love bread. Dude, I bread love is bread. so good. I love bread too. I mean, do you, you don't, you don't do any diets, do you? Uh, no, I just, I try to stay away from dairy personally. Okay. So you know, huge dairy. advocate for oat milk that oh, I haven't had. You're such a full of crap. <laughs> You you were just trying your hardest to, to work that um, in. Yeah, no, I've got a lot of shit for it today already. So what the oat milk? Yeah, all from my wife. No, no, oh. my friend. Well, I, I came from the gym, and my friends were there, and they're like, "Oat milk? Oh, you know? big oat milk guy? Oh, big vegan guy? All right, and fucking, you know, yeah. Hey, <laughs> what is what is that supposed to mean? I was like, "What do you mean it's supposed to mean? It's just, have it, you heard of oat milk? It is. It like, is. Why do you have oat milk on your thing? And I was like, "Why do you have a big Q on your shirt? Because the dude's wearing a Qualtrics, whatever." I was like. Got a big Q on your shirt. All right. Cool. Mr. Question. Com- queer. Queer. <laughs> yeah. it, it made, you know, you know, <laughs> yeah, you were, old, it reminded me of, I, I felt the steam coming out of your oh, ears. You were, you were going like so fast. You were like, I gotta think of something. Well, it, it, it reminded me of Incredibles, you know, syndrome. Oh, syndrome. He has the, bi- he has the, the big, big S. S. Yeah. And it reminded me of the fact that like when I was little, I never understood the joke that he made when he was explaining that he was a babysitter and he's like, I have a big S on it for sitter. Cause I don't want to walk around with a big old BS. So I mean, I was like, why not? And when I was little, but now and that I'm older, I understand. I was like, Oh, Oh, cause that would be, that funny. would be, that would yeah. be funny. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, they always try to work in some adult humor yeah. because this, you know, you know, the adults that go to those movies, they're like, I got to take my kid to another stupid yeah. movie mm-hmm. or they're watching it for the hundredth time. And they're like, ah, oh, Oh, but then you can realize, oh, I missed some funny quips. You know, I do quips. that a, a lot of times. Now. Especially with like Bugs Life, when you go back and watch those old ones, they're like, yo, the innuendos are off the charts. Yeah. I think we might have a, a future with innuendo consulting. 
in Pixar or or Disney. Really, I don't know, man. They 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 add a lot of those subtle subtly in. Yeah, but they're very it, good at it. Either way, back to New Year's resolutions. Mm-hmm. Um, I I don't know if you have any that you've like written hard and fast in stone, uh, but I I'm just gonna come out and say I. Do not. <laughs> you have none? You didn't even do I, it? I didn't even That's sit fair. down and, and think about it. Really? Not not even once. Well, why don't we do it right now? What's something you want to improve on this year? It doesn't even have to be a resolution. What is something you want to do this year? Well, okay. Let's put it out there for everybody. So as of right now, I weighed myself, I think, two days ago, mm-hmm. and I weigh 227. Damn. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking... Dude, you're uh, Kevin Hart over here. Damn. I was about to say, oh, thank God you've seen that. I know. I love yeah, that. Dude, I love that bit. <laughs> damn. He's like, damn. Um, yeah, so I weigh 227 now. Um, so I, just to give you a little timeline of my weight, before the wedding, weighed 220. Got down to 200 for the wedding. Oh, damn. Damn. Right? So that was great. Yeah. But it, I sacrificed a lot of like... I'm sure I was eating some of the mu- like some of my muscle. Like I wasn't really the quality to 200 was not very high. You're pulling the trigger a lot. Well, <laughs> yeah, pulling trigger. Yeah, 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 constantly, gotcha. constantly. Mm-hmm. Um, I was turning into a just a a college college age uh, fraternity sweetheart. Mm. Um, and so, unfortunately, right after the wedding, of course, I drop everything I was doing, and then I shoot back up to 220 instantaneously, pretty Damn. much. Damn. And now. You know, just like not really thinking about it. I'm now at 227, and I'm like, oh, damn, <laughs> damn. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little farther than I want. So where do you want to be? So let's set, a, let's set ideally a, a strong goal okay. of not, not whole, like wholly 180ing my diet, mm-hmm. and let's put it at like a solid 210. Okay. So you want to lose weight, but you want to keep muscle. That's hard to do sometimes. It's hard to do, but I think, I think it really comes down to like intentionality in the gym. So like if you're in the gym and you just go in there, weight lift in and out, mm-hmm. you're gonna you're gonna just start gaining weight. Yeah. Because you're gaining you're gaining muscle and you're eating the same. Yeah. Right. So I'm thinking go in, do intentional warm ups, go in, weight lift, and then finish with cardio. That's what I've been doing this you week. You wanna know a cheat code that you don't even have to do cardio if you don't want to? Um, I, I mean, mean if you if you're cool with cardio, do cardio. My I'm okay cardio is with basketball. It. I can't just do cardio anymore. Yeah, my cardio is it's quick, but okay. it's not like bad. What's okay. the cheat code though? Well, cheat code for me, whenever I was, you know, trying to lean up for summer last year, oh my gosh, was uh, the sauna. And I, I shit you not, after a workout, and you sit in there and you you make you sit in there for ten minutes. Yeah. You like force yourself. Obviously, don't die. Yeah. But that was like the biggest cheat code. You, the amount of sweat and toxins that you get out of your body, ridiculous. I saw my weight start like going down ridiculously quick, and you just look. You look hot. Yeah. Well, okay. So Jeremiah and I were doing that. Yeah. What's up, Jeremiah? Um, I actually haven't. I've literally seen. This is the first time I'm seeing Mitchell this whole year so far. Yes, you're right. So I've seen literally nobody. Um, I say literally nobody. I think I've seen nobody. Yeah. E- either way, if your I've, wife's in there, if you want to, yeah, see my wife. I can see my the, wife. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I've seen her. But anybody else, if anybody's offended that I haven't seen them this year, or uh, feels like I'm dodging them, I promise I'm not. I got a job promotion and it's really distracting. I can talk about that later, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. back to topic at hand. Yes. Goal to 10. And, and I feel like that's practical. Do you want to do a buy win or just by the end of the year or what? Um, let's get a little more specific here. Here's, here's a good goal. Uh, Ellie and I, her our one year anniversary is May 22nd. Sure. And we're going on our one year anniversary trip, June 5th through 12th. Yeah. Right. By so June. I think by June 1st, we're gonna see the Mavs again. We're gonna see. see we're gonna see some freaking yeah. tone station. And here's the thing that I want to keep in mind, and this is important for everybody out there that is trying to lose weight. You will lose power. Oh yeah, absolutely. you will lose strength mm-hmm. considerably. And it sucks. And it sucks. It really sucks. I mean, it's okay. It sucks. It's give and take. But like, what does it mean? Like, what is like? You want to be strong, but like, what's your goal? Do you want to be a power lifter? Okay, you can. You can weigh three hundred pounds. And lift a ton. Yeah. Or you can be tone fit, lift a reasonable amount, and you know, be more practically fit. Yeah. That just sounds more all of it. I've I've gained I've gained about seven pounds. And so like I see Damn. It. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I've i I've seen like I don't love the way my body looks now, but I've like I've gone stronger by 
a lot more than I thought I would. I've gone up maybe like 10 pounds in just about everything. Yeah. And, um, still going up. I'm trying to, but I'll start, you know, going down, but it's going to suck. Cause I'm like my bench press and like, I'm throwing for flat dumbbell. I'm doing like one Oh five dumbbells. And I'm like, wow, I'm, fu- I'm throwing That's this weight for like five, five by five. I was like, wow, I love this. And I know the That's second I start doing that, I'm, I have to change my workout anyway. Cause I'm not gonna do five by five. I want to be doing like four sets of like 10 to 12 yep. instead of five by five, because you're trying to endurance and shred and stuff like that. So it's going to, it's going to kind of, kind of suck. No, that's, it's going to suck for sure. Like for me, especially it's going to suck double because I'm already dropping weights because it's been a month since I've been to the gym consistently. Cause we got COVID right at the end of the year, Mm -hmm. right before we went to Disney, which actually was perfect because of course we're not going to get sick in Disney. We just got COVID. But oh, I think you gave, you gave it to me. That hug did I give that it to I you? Gave, maybe because I'm telling you, the first week of the new year, Bell and I. Oh God! Why? Well, I, like I, I didn't see you. you were in Disney way before I was though. So I think you were. Yeah, I think I got it. Rubbing shoulders yeah, the, the, with those little kids on the freaking teacups yeah. or something. I didn't. Uh, and yeah, yes, I wasn't as sanitary as I probably should have been in terms of like. Ew. I'm talking about like in terms of like Bella made sure she like washed her hands before she touched any type of food every single time she like whatever. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I was just, just like, you know, if I'm going to get COVID, I'm going to get COVID. If I'm going to no, get sick, fair. I'm going to get sick. And I regret it because it was miserable. How long were you sick? Like three days, four days, maybe. But there, it was like the second day I woke up in the morning and I was burning up. I had a water bottle on my head because I was, and I honestly contemplated, I was like, I might tell Bella to bring me to the hospital today because I felt like I was dying. No. No, I felt like. What was your temperature? I, we didn't take my temperature. Oh come on! I, I kid you That's, not. It's though, like but doing like, it's like doing cardio, and they're like do do burpees till I say stop, and it's like yeah, when no, you don't have I an mean, end. You don't. It feels worse. Yeah, and then it's like well, if you don't know your temperature, you feel like oh, I'm 120. Well, degrees. I didn't say. I mean, I obviously I didn't go to the hospital, but. I mean, I, I mean, felt, if you did, I felt more I miserable just than you were I just, you know, a little, a little bit of bitch. Yeah, like, that's fine. Okay, that's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they probably like, wouldn't have taken me anyway. They'd be like, "You vaxxed? and I'd be like, "No." And they're like, um, you know, well, you're, yeah. you're outside, you go, around. go away, go yeah. away, back in the line. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. Good luck, kid. Yeah, you're not gonna make it. Yeah. So. Oh, here's a ventilator. I'm just kidding. This is just, <laughs> psych. This is just a, a Ziploc bag with a tube hooked to it. Psych. Here's Sweet. an inhaler if you can't breathe. <laughs> I just hit my face. <laughs> yeah. Breathe in. Breathe in. Oh, got it. Feel better? No, okay. no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, you but, can breathe better. All right. That's okay. Doesn't matter. But sorry, you got sick. But yeah, no, um, it's fine. But yeah, so I haven't been to the gym in like a month, and so I get back into the gym, and it's just all my weights just just yeah. knock immediately down. Yeah, that's defeating so, as shit too. It's a little bit defeating because it goes down way faster than it goes up. Oh, definitely. Way faster. Well, it's like, it's like trying to keep your grades high in school. Mm-hmm. It's like... Uh, one tails, one, one fail. One, it's like, oh man, I got everything, A's and everything, but I only got one C, and then and your grade's like a like a low B. Like, yep. Come on. Yep. Although I'm saying like, come on. Some kids are like, I'd take that. <laughs> I'd take God, that. I, just, I could just pass. <laughs> I'd kill you and take that right now. <laughs> but yeah. anyway, what what are some of your New Year's resolutions? So I've, I've got three. One, I... I'm going to preface this with, I have not been successful or started two of them. Okay. So the first one was with my job and time zones, I start work at like 10 AM and I'm done at 6 PM. So I get my eight hours in. That's not bad. It, it, they're good hours for it's the fact hours. that everyone's working in California time. If I wasn't adjusted hours, I'd be working noon to 8 PM, which would just suck. But thankfully me and my team and my manager okayed for the 10 AM, but I've, excuse me. I've been a real shithead with the fact that like I'll wake up at nine forty five, roll out of bed, brush my teeth and everything, and just hop on the computer. And so yeah. I was like, you know, I want to wake up earlier. So you can be intent. You have yeah. those hours in the morning. Yes, because there's no reason I shouldn't be waking up before nine forty five. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna like set a goal to wake up at eight a.m. every day. Okay, that's so cool. Here's the thing. First off, we were on vacation for the first week, so I was like, of course, oh, I'll push it off to next week because like yeah. I'm not waking up early. Cause I'm on vacation. Definitely. But I get home and I honestly think about it. I'm not going to go to the gym in the morning because first off it's actually the worst time of the day to go to the gym because everybody else is trying to go. Well, and you're weaker. You're, you're something about body temperature and then I'm tired. I, I used to do, I did that all last summer. I'd go in the morning. My workouts were shit. Like yeah. I was just tired. I, I would be lazy. You weren't warm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so I'm not going to do that because I don't want to sacrifice my, my lifts. So I, yeah, I know. It's, it sounds arrogant, but I don't care. What's up, what's up Giga Chad? How's yeah. it going, bro? I don't want to sacrifice my list, bro. Give me that way. <clears throat> Give me that way, bro. But I, I thought about it. I was like, if I wake up early, what am I going to do? 
don't know, meditate, read a book. I hate both those things. <laughs> Um, so, but that was the thing. I was like, maybe if I would go to the gym, watch that Hil- would make Hillary sense. Clinton's masterclass. Right. Exactly. I was, but here's the thing. So I haven't really started. I've been successful like twice, but like I'd wake up at 8am and I sat there and I was like, what the fuck do I do? Yeah. Like, what are you like? Like I'm, I'm, I'm more tired than I would be if I would have slept in an hour. True. I was less productive during the day because I woke up earlier and I honestly, I didn't do anything. I went down, made breakfast and then like sat on my phone. I know there's a million things that I could do. I know I could take a class. I could better myself, but I just haven't done that. My goal was to wake yeah. up early, but I didn't have a goal after that. Sure. Sure. So it almost seemed meaningless. So I've been really bad about that. The other two are one. I want to take a fighting class. I want to learn how to like, I want kickbox or something like MMA. stuff. So I want to do, gra- oh. I want to do grappling and then like also like Greco. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like, I want to know how to, you know, take someone to the floor and, you know, choke them out or something or, but I also want to know how to like punch and kick and stuff like that. I don't sure. want to just do boxing. I'm going to, I'm going to put something between us. Right. If that's okay. Do you yeah. mind? No, I'm just, no, just yeah. a little divider. Mm-hmm. Go on. Okay. Yeah. There's a space. Okay. Joe Rogan, uh-huh. a longer table. Yeah. After right. Mike Tyson came on. <laughs> just, yeah, it's intimidating. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the reason I haven't started that one either is because it leads to my third goal is I want to get the hell out of my parents' house. I want to move out. Okay, yeah. And so with that's, that that's is, goal. I don't know where I'm going to be and where I'm going to move exactly to in Georgia or whether, you know, it's going to be, be somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. So I don't, yeah. Well, I mean, like. You've got a good thing going for you now. You don't want yes. to. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I don't want to sign up for a gym or a place and then move, you know, 50 miles away or to another state. Sure. And start with get really good with like a teacher and like get into something, then just go completely change it. So I'm waiting till I move out of my parents' house, whether it be in Georgia or out of Georgia. And then once I do that, I will probably establish myself in some type of fighting class. So those those are my goals. I don't know whether or not I'm going to, you know, do the wake up early one. I got to find something to wake up early for. Sure. Well, I will say after going through tech and working out with the cheerleading guys at, 4.30, 4.30, 5, 5 a.m., uh-huh. three times a week. Yeah. Dude, one, it's really easy. So that was that was the easiest part of my day yeah. was working out with those guys because you have the accountability group of the yes. 20, 20 guys yes. that are going to be there. Yeah. And it's like if you don't come, you're only hurting yourself because yeah. you're getting punished and you're missing a lift, have to make up a lift. It's you're gonna be sore on the wrong day, like everything is screwed up. Yeah. So you're only hurting yourself. And so it's like, as long as the alarm is set and the clothes are there, I'm at yeah. the door ready I, to go. I in. totally agree. So I think it's the hardest part about it was the I finish at seven a.m. Mm-hmm. My next class is until ten a.m. You go to take a nap, and I go either back to sleep or I, well, what I started to do my senior year was I'd go back and just start playing video games. Mm. Or, you know, I'm, I'm pretty proactive with all my homework, so I would, like, get it done ahead of time. Yeah. But I would get back. I could do homework, but yeah. I would get it done. Exactly. So I'd be playing video games, not sleeping, and then I'd go to class, come back from class, take a nap, go back to class, take a nap. Yeah. Like, literally, yeah. it was, like, perpetual naps. Yep. Um, so I don't think I got a full night of sleep my entire senior year. <laughs> See, it's tragic. It was but. easy to do morning workouts back in the day when I'd have to show, I'd have to show up, and I had accountability. Yeah. Self motivation itself is just a bitch, you know. Oh, when, no, it's totally. when you're exhausted, and you got all the demons telling you just go back to sleep, don't do it tomorrow or whatever. And it's like they are know. the demons. It feels yeah. like that, but it really the does. Thing, they sit there, I fight with myself. It's like demons disguised as little angels. They're like, but the but the pill is so yeah. soft. Yeah, it's like you can go after work. You don't yeah, have you don't to, have to. Then, like you got plenty of time. My that's the thing is my work schedule now, which I'm finally finding a routine because my boss right now she has my my schedule kind of hijacked to where like she'll pick days where I'm doing certain things yeah. and my days will kind of extend past what, you know, I'm kind of blocked out for. Mm-hmm. And so like my hours are like, I'm up at six and I'm headed to store like seven thirty, like super early. And then I finish and I'm coming home to wrap up some work like two thirty three every day. So you're what you're like eight to two thirty or something like that. Yeah. Just like kind of right in those hours, um, beautiful. which is great. It's beautiful. So the second I finish, I immediately go to the gym because I know like I go to the gym. If I have my bag in the car and I drive to the gym, I'm at the gym and I will work out. Yeah. The second I come here and mm-hmm. I've done it, I did it last week. The second I come here, I am not leaving this place. There's no way in hell that I am coming here changing either going to take a nap or finishing up some of the, some of the work I have and then 180 right back out the door. There's no way it's impossible. Yeah. Um, and so 
yeah, gym and then finish up anything. Yeah, anything. Yeah. It's all about the whole routine thing. You get in that routine, it, it's a lot easier. For me personally, I mean, I would do the same thing you did, but I'm good at going to the gym later. Like, but right, right in the middle of the day, honestly, that's that's even worse than morning to me. Middle well, of the day sucks. Uh, what I love about like mid afternoon. So like when you get what time in the afternoon do you get like kind of like tired? Like you're like oh. uh, right after work. Okay, five thirty six o'clock. Five thirty six. That's, that's when I'm starting so to feel it. To that's th- when I'm like I take a nap. I almost every single day after work. Really, I take thirty minute nap because I'm just mentally tired, and then I feel great after thirty minutes. I feel great. I go do dinner calm down and then I go to the gym. Okay. So you're the, you're the person who goes to the gym and doesn't get reinvigorate reinvigorated. Yes. I right. get, yeah, correct. You get tired. Correct. So yeah. Okay. So that's where you and I differ is like, if I, I get my sleepy time because my hours are like a little shifted than yours, mm-hmm. which would match if I had the same time, but it's around like two thirty three mm-hmm. is when I start to like, you know, my eyelids start to get heavy. I used to get the same I, way you know, when I had like, to be early. Yeah. Wake it's up just, early. Mm-hmm. It's just tired. It pulls you in. Right after lunch. Right after. Yeah, exactly. That's why I try to avoid heavy lunches. Yeah. I can go longer if I don't eat heavy lunches. Um, but I get that kind of suckling, uh, tired feeling. So I just go to the gym instead of taking a nap. If I don't take a nap and I go to the gym, it's like I get two days in one day. Mm-hmm. And it's great because I'm like reinvigorated. My energy's up. It's great. Um, but a lot of people don't don't get energy like you do no. from the gym. So it's like, well, what's, you know, you have to do, you know, work, then nap, then gym. Yeah. It's like. Oh. I, I re, uh, recharge myself, I guess. And I get like tons of energy for nighttime. Are you on that quick charge? Quick charge. The yeah. Tesla? Yeah, Tesla charger? Stick up my ass real so quick. Get, <laughs> yeah, Whoa! Gets me going. You turn into you a know what I want Christmas to- vacation. <laughs> I haven't, still haven't seen it. Really? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. watch it. We'll watch it this year. Um, I still want to try. I saw it on a couple podcasts. They do the salts Salt. or whatever. I want to. I want to know. Granted, it doesn't look pleasant oh, because they touch. They do one little sniff and they're like, oh. well, it's and that's the thing. Like, it's closed. Yeah, it's not even open. Like yeah. they open the lid and it's it has that film on it, mm-hmm. and they sniff and it's like they can't even. They yeah, can't but even it open wakes it. you up immediately. Like you are zoned the fuck in. Yeah, that'd be crazy. I need that. Like I, I need, need that. I need to do that just on a daily level. <laughs> just like crack it and just make phone calls. I want to know what it's like right before you do like a heavy set, like the first set. Be like you're at your most powerful. You just and then you just do it. Man, I don't know. I, I just feel like I just don't like the concept of like I can only hit this number if I do. That's fair. X. That's why I got off pre workout too. I oh, don't did you do, really? I don't, I don't do. I haven't done pre workout in. I'll do it occasionally, like maybe once every other month. Like if my friend has it, I'm exhausted. I'll pop it. You do you but do like, stemmed like stem pre workouts like caffe- caffeinated and like I'll do I'll, I'll every once in a while I'll do coffee before, but coffee doesn't do shit to me except make me shit. Like <laughs> it is a natural diuretic. So. It doesn't do anything in terms of waking me up. It, okay, literally nothing. So I I got off it because I didn't want to be relying on it. Yeah, because I knew if I or mental, doing, mentally it's exactly not, it's not even a physical thing. At that exactly, point. it's a matter of motivation. If sure. I don't take, I don't want to sit there and take it or forget it one day and be like, "Wow, this just like in my workout just sucks. sucks." And yeah. also, it's just not great for you. It's actually really bad for your heart. Really? Yeah, pre workout is so, terrible for your heart. Okay, so my so my pre workout, which I, I want to get another one, mm-hmm. and I've gotten obsessed with this ne- neuro pre workouts mm-hmm. where there's no stem, no caffeine, none of that junk. Mm-hmm. And it's only like the amino acids and stuff that like stimulates brain focus and mm. and that kind of you know in, in that umbrella versus the like yeah. I'm jittering and itchy because of this pre workout yeah so I I love it because at that point it is kind of just like a, a trick mental boost mm-hmm. at that point and helps you kind of zone in yeah um, but I, again I have not taken it this year once I've also only been to the gym a handful of times but. Any of those times I have not taken it, yeah, um, and it's been nice, you know. I've heard the, the a better thing to do than pre workout, and you, obviously you got to start a couple hours before. Is if you need energy, it's just simply hydration. But it's also, yeah, yeah if you if you drink like a gallon of water throughout your day, you are perfectly good. You honestly don't lose much energy. You're all you're like wide awake. I haven't, I've I did it last summer, and I, I honestly saw results, but I haven't done it yet. But also, there's a whole Netflix series, and frankly, has Zac Efron in it. But whatever. Okay, okay, the, dude. The water one. I love it. Yeah. No, I've watched one and a half episodes so far, and it's actually great. It's actually great. It's really good. I, I Zac Efron. He. Okay. Sorry. Tangent no, on Zac go on, Efron. Go on. Right before we we come into this this halftime episode, but Zac Efron has 
He's, he's a hottie, obviously. Yeah, of he's, he's chiseled. Mm-hmm. He's, he's, he's just one of those guys. He's one of those guys. That's the problem, though, is he's come out and has said, like, and publicly, this is not... Normal. Don't don't. No. This is not normal. Mm-hmm. Do not look at this and think that that you should or can do this. Mm-hmm. This is not something yeah. that you should have Came as out a, of a goal. bottle. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you have to literally upend your entire life. And he said, like, if it wasn't his job to look this exact way, he he's like, there's no way I would have the time or ability. Well, if you look at him that. now, he's he's put on some weight. He has because he hasn't had a movie yeah. that he had to be shredded. Exactly. So like he's going towards his natural whatever he would do mm-hmm. in life, which he still looks great. Oh yeah, he does. But like when you're when you're yeah. already fit like that, it it forms in a little bit more naturally. Yeah. But it's like it's not realistic, mm-hmm. and it's like as much as women say, "Oh man, there's horrible body standards for us out there," I, I would honestly say it's it's a almost worse for guys yeah i don't want to say it is worse because obviously there's like women in media is like much more pervasive than men because it's like that's kind of how it's geared but like any dude almost any dude that you see on the cover of any magazine any advertisement anything cut chiseled thin tall like all these things it's like it's not it's not super Uh, realistic i'll be controversial real quick i mean you see you see the whole women's side that you know like accepting all shapes and sizes which is great fantastic or whatever obviously i have opinions on that in terms of like whether it's healthy or not but you honestly don't see that on the guy side you don't see like no no no. the guy side worth you know being thicker or you know being yeah more overweight or whatever as a positive thing. You don't see it on any guy yeah, magazine. You see plenty of, you know, female models and stuff like that that are just accepting of their body and the way they are. No, nothing. Which again, you know, I have mixed thoughts on great though. I think it's overall a great thing to just be accepting of who you are, but health stuff. Anyways, you don't see it yeah, on the guy side. You don't see it on I, the guy I've side. not seen anything where it doesn't translate. Yeah. When, and I think their response would say, well, there hasn't been the historical stigma against women and having these body standards. And I would say, sure, but there's there's equal and opposite standards for guys as well. Mm-hmm. So if we're going to admit that that was there, then we should definitely admit that there were at least some on the guy's side too. So, no, I totally agree with you. It, it just doesn't translate yeah. one for one because it's just not as like – like Ryan Reynolds is held up as like the pinnacle of manhood, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And so it's like – Nobody can be Ryan Reynolds. You yeah. know, he's funny. He's good looking. He's got the motorcycle, got the wife, got the kid. Like, yeah. who is this guy? Yeah. You're making us all Dude's look bad. awesome. But enough of that. We'll probably touch on that at yeah, when we, we get back, but we'll send you right to this halftime episode. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Man Card Podcast halftime episode, mini episode within the main Man Card episode. We're so happy that you joined us. Uh, well, you kind of had no choice, really. If you're listening to this episode, we force you to listen to this episode. You want to explain? I don't know how that We've works. We've got yeah, you yeah, dead sure, to sure. rights. We've got you dead to rights. And today, we're talking about ducks. And not just any ducks. These little rubber duckies. Right. Okay. okay. Now, this is a big deal. Yeah. All right. This is a tough one, to be honest with you. Right here. You see that? Sweet Jeep. Okay. You have been ducked. So there's a thing in the Jeep community, in the Jeep world. Mm. That Are you allowed to disclose this? I. You know what? I don't know if I... Okay, go on. This is secret stuff, so keep it between uh, just you and me, Mitchell. Uh, nobody else is listening. Right. <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if, you, if you get ducked as a Jeep owner, it's your responsibility, nay, your duty to pass along the duck to another deserving Jeep. Good representation and pillar in the Jeep community. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of just a fucking joke. <laughs> like, it's not It's not even But like you a, put, you go and put a duck on Yeah, you go duck a Jeep. You duck ah, a Jeep. Oh, shit. Yeah. Isn't that fun? My dad never got ducked. What the heck? That okay, so, cool. I, so I didn't. And then, like, I want to say, like, a month and a half ago, I finally got ducked on my Jeep. I found a little duck on my, on my mirror. And I was so happy. I was like, oh my gosh, it finally happened. Some people hate it. Some people love it. I feel like if you get a Jeep, you have to accept the whole community, the whole Jeep wave, the whole, you know, yep, shebang. Yep. You can't drive a normal Jeep. You got to lift it or do something cool to it. You can't be. But that's the thing. Old enough Jeeps, you don't, you don't do anything to them and they're totally fine. Yeah. Or soup them up. Doesn't matter. But this is just like a little subculture. Like 
this is not like main Jeep culture for yeah, sure. Some people hate it. Some yeah, people yeah. absolutely hate it. Um, I think it's the cutest thing ever. Yeah. I think, um, well, yeah. Join the culture. I don't know. We'll get, hey, whatever your opinion is out there, let us know. Uh, send us a message. Drop us a comment. We're on YouTube. Uh, join the culture. Join, join the man card culture. Um, yeah. Man card. Men, men can have ducks. Yeah. Little tiny rubber duckies. And hoodies. And, and crew necks. And, and, and aprons. And aprons. All of which. And dope ass mugs. Dope that, mugs. Oh, gee, hold on. Turn around. Don't worry. Oh, shoot. I lied. Hold up. This is the double sided one. I gave you the double sided one today. <laughs> Fantastic. Mm. Mm. Uh, get yours at mancard.com. Mancardpodcast.com. Sorry. Mancardpodcast. Shit. It's been, it's been a, minute. a minute. Yeah, wow. It's been a minute. Mancardpodcast.com. We've got all the links to the socials, all the links to YouTube. Uh, we actually have all the episodes on the website. So if you don't like listening on. Um, Spotify, Apple, um, any any of those, you can listen straight from the website. We've got you covered. And of course, not to mention all of our merch. So go check it out. we got some cool stuff. And uh, I think we'll definitely be uh, dropping some new stuff this year to hopefully energize the gang. But definitely check it out, and we'll see you back in the main part of the episode. All right, everybody, and welcome back to the main part of the episode. Um Thanks for uh, staying the duck around. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Hold on. Oh. We'll give it a... No. That, oh, I mean, that works. That works. We'll just that leave works. It. We'll, yeah, that's fine. That's we'll fine. Uh, I'm glad it was turned up because I was nervous that it was going to be like at zero and you uh, just click it and nothing happens. <laughs> but yes, thanks for sticking with us through that little mini episode in the middle. Uh, but we're going to turn from resolutions uh, for ourselves to resolutions for the show and a couple other topics that we want to talk about before we end the show today. The show itself, we, we've come a long way. I think we, we've started to enter into a stage where we can not do it for a month. We can come right back in. Like it's like we never thickest, pulled out, you thick, know? Thickest never pull out. Yeah. Bad advice. Um, we're not, we're not your personal consultants here. Okay. But we, we are here. We, we can thick as thieves. We're together. Joined at the hip. Some would say Siamese, except for the hair and the mm, muscles. Siamese. And you're a Greek god. Other than I'm that. I'm a Greek god. I'm a bald god. I look like Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Third. I hate it. I've got to the point where I hate it, but whatever. We're going to stick through well, it. That's the thing. Hair, hair is tough because like, if you get a haircut, like a dramatic haircut in any direction, it's going to come back to normal through all of the awkward stages. Yeah, but I got to get through them. I'm, yeah, out, through I'm them. out one. Like, I can't do nothing with it. I can't. Yeah. It just sticks up. I can't style it. You can get some product in it. What am I going to do with it? Don't. It doesn't spike up. Um, yeah, there's nothing. I just got to deal with it. Adopt the hats for a while. and. No, you're good. I think it looks good. Appreciate it. Bullshit. You got a, you got a good looking bean. Some people have really bad looking heads. Oh, I got a. I feel like I got a Caillou head. Okay, well, All right, you know, let's, move let's move on. Move on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I agree, but let's move on. Let's move on. So the show, uh -huh. there's a couple things, and, and of course, like we are going to keep each other accountable this year for our goals, uh, I want you, the viewer out there, to keep us on the show accountable for our goals with the show. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important. This show doesn't happen without the people who listen to it, and, and we appreciate you taking time and, and tuning in. Uh, it's really, really means a lot to both of us because, you know, this really is just a passion project for us. We're just doing this as right like now, a... Yeah. You know, yeah, it might not be in the future. We'll see. You never know. Whatever. But this gotta, is just we a, say something controversial enough, we might, you know, get blown up. Well, that's the thing is, I don't think he, this is like a normal human life. Like we're living normal human lives and talking about it. People like Logan Paul, Tom, it's like uh, something yeah. something is happening every second of those people's lives yeah. that's like off the wall crazy. So it's like who wouldn't want to listen to something that's never going to happen in their life ever. It's like, we should just pretend. That yeah. Oh, dude, I literally just ran into Beyonce yeah. yesterday. <laughs> no way, bro. Dude, she just bought a tiger. <laughs> really? She let me pet it. It was crazy. Dude, Mayweather just punched me in the face yesterday. It was nuts. No way. Yeah. Dude, did you get on video? No. Oh. But I got this cool uh, little uh, thing in my scar? eyebrow. Dude. In my, uh, yeah. Freaking yeah. sick, yeah. dude. It was nice, bro. Well, yeah. So our lives aren't as interesting as some of the people who are out there. But I, I just can't. I can't imagine why... Somebody wouldn't want to say like, how do normal how do normal people like what is what like what do normal people talk about? And we just talk about like, normal people shit. Normal people shit. Like how I don't you know. Cussed earlier. Wow. I cussed earlier. 
Did you? I, I did. You. I'm sorry. I'll throw I'll throw an apology out to my mom. She hates it when I cuss. Wow. So sorry, mom. Sorry. I'm actually I'm I'm genuine. I I don't I don't like that you don't like that I cuss, and so I'm sorry. Yeah, pisses me off. But, <laughs> But the show, so we we want to get some more guests on this season. I um, think that's the biggest thing. Yeah, that's that, really the biggest thing, and that's where we lack the most. I want to get Blake's ass on. Yeah, get him on. Well, you talk about him more yeah. than enough. Yeah, we've had Evans on. We got to get Evans back on for a reprise. John has literally just gotten back from like Dude, a freaking John, I, world I want tour. John's life. I do not want John's life. Well, you know, I want John's John. John sometimes that. doesn't even want John's life. Okay, well, don't get dark. I'm not dark. He's. I want his traveling life. He's I no, want his he, traveling I do, life. I agree. He travels the world, and I envy that for sure. So we got to get him. He's basically the man card glorified tra- travel correspondent. Mm-hmm. So we need to get him back on here. Um, and I didn't mean that in a dark way. I meant, oh, I, was just I, meant like, I, I like my life too much to want his. Oh. I wish I could say the same. You. <laughs> that just got dark. Let's not make it dark. <laughs> it's just I'm Mitchell ch- Peters, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. But no, we'll get him on. I want to get our dads on. Good effing luck on mine. That's all why I wouldn't say. your dad come talk? I think it's. I think we have way more of a shot of getting your dad on than my dad. I think my dad's a hard sell. He just. I think my dad is a. He doesn't like the concept of something being out there for forever. I'm gonna. Have to, I would have to trick my dad. I'd have to be like, "Hey, dad, we're going to buy you a brand new Shelby Cobra. Woo, come with me, psych." Well, you would have to. It's in this apartment. It's like, hey, they want to interview you about your new Shelby Cobra. <laughs> I don't have Come one. On. We'll pick it up after. Yeah, we'll get it later. Right. But no, I think I think it can be done. I think you know we can do it for Father's Day this year. Dude, what if we got our moms on for Mother's Day? I think my mom would be more willing to come on. My mom would totally come on. Really? My mom's a really good conversationalist, mm. like that. Like all she right. she has a ton of opinions and all that junk. I'd love to get her on, mom. Hey. I know you're listening to this right now on your freaking wax earwax head headphone that earbud that I just cleaned out today. That's gross. I'm a nice guy. Yeah. I, you want to talk about another thing that's gross that I cleaned out? Oh no. Have you ever cleaned out an air duct of a house? Oh that yeah. That's connected to a dryer. Horrible. It's disgusting. It's really. There gross. was a bird nest in it that no I had to way. pull out. Yeah. So feathers were coming out. All the thing. It's amazing. My mom was about to buy a brand new dryer. She's like, our dryer is broken. I was like, and I did some research. I'm like, there's still heat. Like it's still working. It's just everything's still damp every time yeah yeah so the air's not getting out and so i went up on the air ladder pulled that stuff out it was disgusting i have pictures of it i don't know if we'd flash any of those it's not that big a deal but anyway it was gross pulling that stuff out it was but it was satisfying too yeah 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 but anyways any any who's it's i'm gonna write that down for my future editing notes <laughs> future editing air notes duct photos yeah because I always forget when I'm editing these episodes to put in to put in all this the good stuff. The good stuff. The I'll, I'll stuff. send it to you. It's not yeah. that crazy, but like I have a picture of each time that I pulled a huge clump out, and they just get further back, further back. I was like, wow, this is not going to end. And then I finally got to the end where I could see. Yeah, I the dryer. Like, wow, I did it. No, uh, not the dryer. You don't see the dryer through the air. But anyways, you that. get what I'm saying. You sure. see the end of the tunnel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the other part that we want to update, modernize use whatever word you want, is the intro sequence. Yeah, so yeah. The, the current one that we have right now on YouTube that you just watched for this episode, and probably going to be for a couple future episodes um, this season, it's just the... Curtains open, curtains and open, they close. And they close. And I they literally, open again. Yeah, I literally was just like... Yeah. It's just a lot of work <laughs> behind the scenes to like make it happen on time. So I haven't spent a lot of time you know, putting in yeah. transitions. I think that's a very interesting good thing we can get yeah so we're i think you mentioned it before but we want to go on fiverr and get a couple different tiers of you know editing you intros, know intro logos. sequence mm-hmm. sequence packages yeah and to see and let you guys choose let you guys choose which one you like most i think that'd be a really cool way to to get everybody engaged out there but you never know i would just sit there and watch it just for that oh me Some too cool. well, we can live react on the episode yeah oh of the ones that they send us yeah. don't watch them until don't yeah, watch them until cool with that yeah that'd be fun yeah that would be fun i like that i say we even go as far as get like one of the ones i showed you on that tiktok yeah of just like a small logo thing because obviously that's not long enough because we have music sure. but like if we started you know posting clips or tiktoks or whatever we post it and then that would go at that the would end go at the end or something like that that'd be really cool that'd be nice I like that. Yeah, so. so we'll work on it. We'll work on it. I promise. I promise. And then obviously we'll get some new updated stuff in the merch shop. Always there's changes happening. I say we get you a shirt know. like this that just says man card. That'd be sick. Honestly, I'd buy it. 
Really? And I haven't bought much of our merch yet. But man I, card. I've bought more merch for you than you've bought I see for our, yourself. I see merch right there. That's oh, been right bought there. by not me. Well, that's uh <laughs> that's for Becca. that's for Philip and I haven't I still haven't seen him in like months. Yeah. And then that's for Evelina. Oh, that's right. And then I I keep forgetting to bring that one to to Olivia. Every single time I go, I just forget every time. Yeah. But it's okay. You'll get your stuff eventually. I promise. Uh, although I, maybe I shouldn't promise. Yeah, no, maybe not. I'm gonna end up wearing it. No, I'm kidding. You'll get your stuff. Um, well, so, dude, did we do that? I'm gonna buy one. Mail really? card. Yep, I'll actually, do it. I'll buy one. ASAP. Okay. All right. You kind of. I'll even design it if you tell me how to do it. All right. All right. Bet. I mean, I'll do it because I have that's access fine. to it. That's fine. And it can literally just be man card, and then yeah, that's it. And the back can be like, huh, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Okay, so the next one that's on our list of things to talk about mm-hmm. is we both went to Disney and we had the best intentions of meeting up in Disney World and doing a little Disney episode, which I even thought it would be cool to do an episode in one of the parks. Yeah. You think you'd get through security with all that stuff? I um, think they'd allow it? No, 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 no. I didn't think they would. No, they would not allow that. You'd I have think, to do it on like an iPhone. No. Well, yeah, yeah. You could do it on an iPhone or like you would just bring it in in pieces. <laughs> No, each I'm not kidding. Just like each per- each or- person brings in one thing. Yeah. So like you bring in a mic, I bring in a mic, you know, and then we just set up somewhere. The problem would be is like the Get cast, people. the cast members would would come over and be like, "Hey, can you not? Yeah, can you not? You're do probably that? right. We probably we'd have to get permission for that. Absolutely. Oh, and we'd never get permission for that. Yeah, you're right. Ever filming in Disney World? Yeah. For like a show it. that they don't know if you make money from or not. Yeah. 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 Press F to doubt. There's no way. And my cursing just doesn't help. Well, there was, yeah, because they, they know about that. Yeah. They listen to I'm all of saying, our episodes. I'm just saying. What's up, know, Disney? How's it going? You know, we get sued real quick. Well, there's an, there's a, a Netflix movie called Escape from Tomorrowland that was produced guerrilla filmmaking style in Disney World and Disneyland. And and they did this whole, like, horror film in the parks. like And literally nobody knew about it until it came out on Netflix. I don't even know if it's still available on Netflix. Well. It's supposed to be really good. Thunder Mountain's pretty fucking creepy. I don't know if you remember yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. That one's creepy. The rabbit and bear things, and then the wait. You mean the the uh, machine moving uh, animals or whatever? Thunder Mountain, the one that's uh, a water ride. That's you're thinking of Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain. Okay, my bad. Big, Splash. Yeah, Thunder, Thunder Mountain, Mountain is Railroad. the train one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Splash Mountain. Disney that guy. one. Yeah, Disney yeah. Guy. That's right. That one's freaky. I, I honestly, I I looked at Bella. I was like, if someone paid you like. Hundred thousand dollars to sleep in the middle of here for one night? Would you do it? She said no. I did, would. Did you write it? Yeah. Did you get wet? Stupid. Yeah. No. No. I asked five or six people walking in because there was no line. It was like five minutes before the cl- park closed. Bella somehow convinced me in the freezing weather in the freezing cold to yeah. go on it. And like, I asked, like, seat doesn't get I was wet. like, what? third row left side didn't get wet, and they were all. They do were you right. sit side by side? Yeah. Okay. There's two. Yeah. I thought for some reason in my mind because I don't. I don't like that ride for some reason. One, you get wet, and two, like, you get wet. You get wet. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was like uh, Space Mountain where you sit like behind each other. Oh no, no. Okay, because that's one. It's two people, but, but yeah, yeah. Now Ellie and I will ride it together gotcha. because she was like, "I'm not going to ride it if it's back to back, but if it's side to side." Oh, I'll she didn't want to ride Space Mountain then. No, or just no, no, that no. water ride in general. Just the water ride Got in it. general. Because uh, she was like, she doesn't like the the drop feeling. Oh, I love that feeling. Yeah. So you like Tower of Terror. Yes, Tower Terror was great. Did you ride Rock and Roller Coaster or was it closed? It was closed. Yeah, yeah. I want a refund. For okay, for that. so it was open. So after you was. left, of course it, was. it opened. Of course it was. And we sat in line for like an hour. It was the one thing we waited for. And then the park was about to close and we sprinted across and rode Smuggler's Run one more time. Mm. And it was walk-on. Really? Yeah, it was epic. And then So we, y'all left Magic King or Epcot to go there? Yeah. That day that I saw you? No. I didn't think so. Different day. Okay. Different day. Because um, that Thursday, it was after you left. So Thursday we had, um, we made the lightsabers. Yeah. How was, in, that? was that cool? Dude, I'm telling you right now, I'll put a couple of photos of video on screen right now. It is like. You have it here? Yeah. It's Can in, I try it when we yeah, get yeah, off? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Right, awesome. It's really nice. Yeah. It's I got a really wand. Nice. I don't regret it, but like also I realized I paid 65 bucks for a piece of plastic. What, which, who's you get? Voldemort. Nice. Yeah. The Elder Wand? No. Oh. Voldemort's Oh, wand. Voldemort's Wand. Well, yeah. I was like, I don't want to be super basic and get Harry Potter or the you know, Elder Wand. Yeah, sure. 
But I was like, so let's get the other basic character. Yeah, Voldy. Good old. It's a bone, literally. You know, it's cool. Yeah, Yeah, it looks dope. uh, That's why I liked it. I was like, I don't want just so some basic. (laughs) (laughs) You know, the first time I heard, I thought he was just saying abracadabra. So I was going around abracadabra (laughs) on people. See, they, they probably no, thought you were wrong. the biggest asshole. Yeah. Because they're like, why well, is you making yeah, fun, fun of, of a freaking uh-huh. experience? Yeah. My I'm, other thing I love saying is, you're a hairy wizard. You're a... <laughs> That's Hagrid. That, yeah, he is yeah. one hairy wizard. Yeah. Um, dude, I there were a couple of things. So we just want, rewatched the entire Harry Potter series. Mm-hmm. And there's a couple things they cut out of the movies from the books that I wish they hadn't. Mm -hmm. Um, And it makes me really sad. Like in the Chamber of Secrets, the first movie Mm -hmm. book, um, they go through the trials to get to the ultimate, which is the the Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah. The Philosopher's Stone. Yeah, yeah. And one of the trials in the books is a a poison. It's like it's Snape's trial, Mm -hmm. which is the poison... Like there's different potions on a table, and you have to deduce which one allows you to c- continue to go forward. Okay. And it's so like it's so cerebral. It's like really mental and Hermione. It's like Hermione's shining moment, mm-hmm. right? Instead, instead they made her shining moment the like the key thing. No, no, no. That was Harry. They made the her shining moment the like the weeds, the devil, oh, yeah, the devil yeah, yeah, snare. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. The don't panic. Just. Yeah, just sit still. And it was a kind of a lame moment. It's like, yeah. just don't panic. And then you just go through. Mm-hmm. But like, this was like her moment. And then they cut it out of the whole movie. And I'm like, yeah, what a empowering women like yeah. this. You cut out her whole big freaking moment in well, the movie. Well, that was before that was a thing, remember? So, oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So, Men, yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I was like, written in the book, it didn't sound like it was like trying too hard. It was like, this was obviously Hermione's moment. She's so smart. And the other guys are like, we're freaking idiots. Like, yeah. you do it. And she's like, well, I need your help. It was just like a good teamwork thing. But they cut out of the movie. Well, I think the one thing that Harry Potter does t- bat- very poorly, and honestly, I love the movies. The series, phenomenal. Yeah. They don't explain things very well. Like, if you don't read the book or know somebody that knows a lot about Harry Potter. They don't explain anything. They don't. Like, the one, the, one of the biggest things that they don't explain very well, they very briefly do it at the very end of the last Harry Potter movie was why Harry could wield the Elder Wand and Voldemort couldn't. Yes. Because if it, go, it goes back to the fact that Draco disarmed Dumbledore, yeah. and then Harry disarmed Draco in mm-hmm. one very quick scene, and then technically, you know, he, it was... Here's what I was always... Con- especially in the movies, the, the books really go into that, like, mm-hmm. pretty hard. The, the movies make it a little bit more confusing on another level, which is uh, Harry disarmed draco of a different wand Wand. so why would the elder wand lose connection to draco unless you just get every wand yeah then it's like oh you have 20 wands it's like i I get all of them yeah like that doesn't make any sense yes so i don't know i don't know what the lore around that is i don't know i'm not deep on wand lore or anything like that but um i did like the whole ladder of it how you know once you understood it it was like oh draco disarmed dumbledore so it was never really, you know... Um, it was never Snape's. Yeah, it was never Snape's. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I, lo- I love that. No, it's lot, awesome. So. And then Neville's, like, ultimate redemption of his character. Oh, yes. He Sl- finally gets to, yeah. like, become the person... That saves the that day. That saves the day. Yeah. It's like, sorry, guys. Gotta freaking kill this freaking snake. I love that scene. He's like, huh, take that. Yeah. And then... <laughs> what, you, what you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, he's... Uh, he, got, he got hot, dude. Oh I, yeah, he definitely. I'm not gay, but like puberty hit him. But well. he's hot, dude. I don't know. I won't go that far, but he definitely. You he's know, hot, he definitely dude. glow up. If you looked up a photo of him and you'd be like, "That's one smoking dude." Well, like, there's I no mean, way for I'm you just to talk about that. In the movie. But, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Harry Potter, same way, dude. Yeah, yeah. He had that middle. So like when he's a kid, you know, cute little kid, and then like those middle movies is like, dude, get a haircut, do something. Yeah, I don't know. They kind of. I think they c- tried to keep him scruffy to the books, ke- mm-hmm. like description. Well, then he got clean cut near the end. Yeah, he finally finally made it there, but he's also Daniel Radcliffe, so it's like yeah, he's also just a goofy, he's, ass he's just dude. goofy dude. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, it's it's hard. I'll tell you who got like rugged and like built. Ron, I hate Ron. Why? I hate Ron. What? Fuck Ron. How Ron, can you hate Ron? Ron is so selfish, and he's just a little bitch. No, Honestly, he's not. yes, he is. One hundred percent. How? One hundred percent. Honestly, are you talking about? Are you talking about the Horcrux hunt? No, not even that. Okay, just in general, he's he's a. Uh, 
I don't like him. I think How honestly, I don't like him. Obviously, he's a prototypical sidekick. It would have been too obvious, but I really wish Hermione and Harry got together. Honestly, they had a better relationship together than him and her and Ron. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing that that's missed out on. Like, there's a whole in the books. There's a whole like three chapter like standing ovation for the house elves that okay. is just left out of the movies. So Hermione does that leads this entire campaign to free the how all the house elves mm-hmm. because you know the food in the dining hall yeah. it just appears on the yeah, table. Yeah, yeah. In the books, it goes into why that happens. And underneath the, the castle, there's a whole area of house elves that are making all the food. food. Uh. And she goes through this whole thing of like, free the house elves, they're freaking enslaved, and all this stuff. One, they cut it out of the movies. I'm glad they did, because it was kind of annoying in the books. But it's like, they they just left out these whole swaths of character development that really explain relationships between people. Yeah. So I think like in that, I think Ron was like, was like this is stupid but then like kind of took up her cause you know what i mean like it yeah. builds that relationship okay. a little bit more but well, like I the movies see. the movies glaze it over yeah like, so hard yeah there's no development she just all of a sudden was in love with ron at one point and then got jealous yeah, yeah. and he didn't see it and one one yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. my lips are bloody chapped <laughs> we're snogging all the time <laughs> a bloody chap yeah that, harry's that. like shut up dude. <laughs> stop complaining Oh yeah, oh, dude. Man. Those movies are good. Yeah. And then, of course, you went to Orlando and got to see Harry Potter World. Harry which Potter was World, fucking amazing. How was awesome. how was the butter beer? Butter beer, great. I will definitely have another one every time I go. Yeah, the frozen ones are phenomenal. It's just like I don't love them. They're sure, good. Sure. They're definitely something I get again. But it's not like I I get like a craving. It's like wow, I wish I could just have one right beer. now. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can so, make them at home. Yeah, it's I, like I, butterscotch. Yes. Yeah. That's all it really is, and. I, I like I said, liked it. Didn't love it. My favorite part was the Harry Potter ride in the castle. That was my favorite ride, the whole entire trip. The that one, one was cool. the one where you're in the cabinets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you know the big screen. It, honestly, like I don't know how exact. Obviously, I know how they do it, but not exactly how they do it. How it makes you literally feel like you're flying. Yeah, you l- legit feel like you're going up and down or whatever. It it's was insane. Awesome. So, so um, when you were when you were in Disney because you you came to me and you said you you preferred. Orlando. Orlando Studios. Yes. You, you, yeah, we were because oh, we were in Orlando. We were in Orlando. Universal <laughs> Studios. Universal over Disney. Yes, hundred percent. Did what happened at Disney World that made you come to that conclusion? I think, I think just more so who the parks were geared towards. Sure. Universal is definitely, in my opinion, geared more towards young adults and adults more than Disney is. Yeah. Disney has frankly a lot of little kid stuff. Sure. obviously yeah and none of the rides were super thrilling to me and honestly i just felt like i was just going around to look at things sure whereas universal i felt like there were so many things to do um i can go and get drinks i can you know do the whole wand experience things like that. i know there's the you yeah, know yeah, yeah. uh lightsaber thing that i missed out on no but i mean but, it's like it's not cheap yeah well and neither was the wand <laughs> but yeah well, i'm sure the lightsaber was very pricey well th- did you do the like you choose the wand and yeah, yeah. come with me. Oh no, I couldn't. I wasn't chosen. They only okay. choose one person. Oh, well, they choose one, but I'm saying yeah. you did that. Yeah, experience. I did that experience. Okay. Yes. But See, I've never done that. That's cool. Yeah, no, it was, it was pretty neat. But, um, and then after universal, once the park was closed, we went to the downtown universal or whatever that, that is nice. That place That is awesome. That's a place because you can get in for free. You don't even need tickets. You can just yep. walk right in. Yeah. It's like I downtown. Was like, if I was living in Orlando, that would be like my Friday night. I'd be like, y'all want to go out? And then boom, we would go there. Yeah, that's cool. It's awesome. What's it called? I think it's down. Uh, it's not Disney so, Spring. It's Disney downtown. Sp- I think it's downtown Universal. Universal. Downtown Universal. I think that's what it is. Yeah, because Disney. So Ellie and I are going back to Disney for our one year uh, wedding anniversary. Yeah, and we're very excited because we're staying at Saratoga Springs, mm-hmm. which is like when you're in Disney Springs, it's the resort right across the little okay. like yeah, yeah. lake, so you can. You can literally bike around in two minutes and be in Disney Springs, oh, Disney cool. Springs, yeah, yeah, or downtown Disney, or whatever you want to call it. And we are so excited because our our season passes, our season passes, annual passes, um, block out weekends, right? Because uh, they're like, oh, we can't overpower mm-hmm, the season, mm-hmm. the annual pass too much, or else they'll just come all the time. So our weekends are blocked out, and we're there for a Sunday, Saturday, and a Sunday. 
And we're literally just going to vibe out, like chill at the pool, go to downtown Disney, eat, relax, go to a movie. How like, often, how many times have you been to Universal? Um, or when was last time? Twice. I've when been twice. Uh, a couple years ago. Okay. So I've been to Harry Potter World. Yeah. I love uh, it. It's great. And yeah. my, my actually, my favorite experience slash ride is a ride that you probably didn't go on was or it? was open. It was called, it's called, or was called when it was open, Poseidon's Fury. It wasn't open. It wasn't open. Bella was like, that ride is amazing. It's the best and thing ever. Gonna, yeah. It's the best thing ever. I was pissed. It's not even a ride. Yeah. It's not even a ride. Yeah. And it's my favorite thing ever. It's like immersive. It, I probably sound stupid to everybody out there. Look it up. She said it was. Besides she said that Fury. was like one of the best rides, and it wasn't open. It wasn't open. Yeah, yeah. So when Ellie was down there, I think last last year, she went with her like her dance company, and uh, it was closed. It was closed then because they. It's it's. I know it's closed due to COVID because they pack you mm-hmm. real tight in there, and I think they're like, well, I we can't really mm-hmm. do that. So uh, they probably shut it down for that. But I hope it opens back up again because it's so good, and I definitely recommend pick one up if you have the means. So good, but we are Disney people, and That's I think fair. I think That's partially fair. you have to be Disney people through the years that you went to Disney. Like mm-hmm. if you went to Disney as a child, I've only went once when I was a child. Yeah, so exactly. I probably didn't grow up loving it. Yeah. As so if you if it. you have those like formidable, yeah, for formidable those like deep seated like core memories, core memories right, that are Disney. like yeah, yeah that's exactly so Disney. Right yeah, now. wow, Disney Pixar baby. Yeah. Um, but like you have those core memories that are formed. It's like at disney and it's like these these you think back you're like oh, i rode that ride it's so special it's like those golden memories that you think back on you go back to disney and you kind of like get to be a little kid again yeah and it's fun and you get to be with your family and your friends and like have a good time be silly be you know it's it's cool yeah um but i do love universal it's it's like it unleashes the uh, adult I, in you if i could go back if i could redo that trip no offense to disney i had a blast at disney it was great but if I'm comparing the two, I honestly would have done two days at Universal, been able to you know take my yeah. time more, yeah, 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 and done that rather than do Disney. We did all the parks in one day, frankly. In, For at Disney? Disney, yeah, we went, we visited every all the, the main ones. That's too much. Well, there's there's four. Yeah, I think there's yeah. Okay, four. Yeah, you're right. We went to Hollywood Studios first, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, and then we finished at Magic Magic Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's a day. Oh, dude, it was nuts. Well, okay. So how did you do that? Because you can't park hop until two p.m. So which park did you at, start at? We started at Universe or uh, uh, Hollywood Studios. MGM. Okay, that's a good park to start on. Yeah, because well, honestly, frankly, we got bored at that time because we went through everything. We went and, through everything, and, you know, and they blocked some you. of the rides were scored. Uh, scored, <laughs> shut down, shut down. Yeah. So rise, yeah, rides. But we went, so then Animal King, Animal King was great. I thought it was cool. Avatar Land or whatever. Insane. Yeah. So cool. You got to go at night. If you go back. I heard it was go at night. at night. We, Very cool. Yeah. Um, but. I've heard that Harry Potter World's cool at night too. I didn't get to see that. Yeah. Unfortunately. But. They add, they add things. I think they add things that like you can't see it yeah. until it's nighttime. So. But th- it's cool. The be- I think the coolest thing that they do at Universal in terms of Harry Potter World is it makes it feel so much bigger than it actually is. Yeah. It's really not that big, but you literally feel like the place is gigantic. Mm-hmm. And it's all just the engineering and architecture. They make things and scale things from perspective. It's, it's so cool. Oh, but- totally. No, I think, you know, with when it comes to Disney, when it comes to Universal, like, y- you like what you like from both. Mm-hmm. And, like, I can do the entirety of Universal in probably a day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, we and, did pretty and much be that. satisfied mm-hmm. with that experience. But like to do Disney well, you really have to have like we were there for an entire week, mm-hmm. and we we didn't even get to do everything that we wanted to do. Yeah. So um, Ellie and I are looking forward to being able to go back and do it. Also, they like Disney. Disney has kind of screwed it up with their whole experience because you have to book book a reservation in a park before you come. Yes. Uh-huh. Pay for parking if you're not staying on property Mm -hmm. and then when you're in the park you have to pay for certain rides like you already paid like five times to get to this yeah you got to know you're going and giving away a hand literally and you got to go pay for rides and then if you want to get fast like lightning lanes you have to pay again to those are a scam too because you you yeah well they sell out and then you also got to schedule a time that you show up at your ride and then they get overbooked yeah so or they shut down and then they'll, they'll give you like a a pass that you can use on any ride. Yeah. If it shuts down when you have a lightning lane, but like it's very, basically my dad said it best. If you have a group of people 
it takes one person out of the party to literally be on the phone and booking all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So like one person isn't having fun and everybody else can have fun or else everybody's stressed. Very true. You know, a little cheat code, do single rider. Cause a lot of times when you go on single rider, even if you were going with somebody, they still let you sit together and you skip the lines with, they have a single rider. So, all right. Anyways, totally agree. Well, thanks for tuning in to this episode of the man card podcast. We're so happy you joined us today. Mancardpodcast.com. Look us up. We got all our stuff there. Links to, um, merch links to all the YouTube iTunes. Uh, oh, actually, they added a new feature on Spotify. You can actually you watch the video. You can ra- do the video and you can rate the podcast now. So go over there, give us a five star rating if you think that's appropriate, and we will see you next time.